Right, it's time to go. I've been waiting way too long for this. I have a little Shadow Richard with me for today. Let's see if it does a, uh, a recap or anything. Stone balls. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. I love that they're doing live action cutscenes again. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Oh no, it's the lake. The nice place. Yeah, we're playing as the naked bald man. We see his face. I like turn quick enough. No. This definitely looks like the lake from the first game. Yeah, because there's like the, the the asylum that's up on the hill, and then like one of these islands is like the the holiday island that Alan Wake was staying on. This guy's not in good condition. All I can do is zoom in a bit. Help. way. Can I climb? No. Can only stumble. I can hear creepy noises in the woods. Doesn't look familiar, but that definitely made me jump. <gasps> I'm Manu. Yeah, this is a uh, spoopy shadow, Richard. Oh, 
I did that even though I'm not sure what it's been doing that a bunch lately. Yeah, I am like two minutes into the game and it's already made me jump once. But yeah, so far, in case you missed it, uh, it did like the intro cutscene, it showed the lake from the first game, and then this naked guy crawled out of it. And I am just looking at stream elements to see. I can hear the shadow thingies. I'm just looking at stream elements to see why that emote didn't show up. Because it's supposed to. But yeah, that's definitely the sound the, the horrible shadow thingies made. Streams chat. Yeah, you can very faintly hear them, like, whispering. From that direction. And I can stumble a bit faster. Whoa! That was one of the shadow monsters. Do you want a, a better look, Manu? There you go. And he's bald as well, because I know that's your preference. Go to move faster. Yeah, that distorted voice is the horrible shadow things. What's it say? Huh? Lights. Don't think I can get this way, can I? No. Oh no, there uh, the shadow thingy is. Run away. I can hear them shouting, let's get him. Gotta go and hide in the lights. Wow, shit. He's fucked.
So he's a bit dead. Just a bit. But they didn't seem to be like the shadowy monsters this time. They seem to be people infected with it or something. so much lately Logan oh my god mom it's not your fault people get all murdery what happened just work stuff right well dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here Night mom, Springs so good no spoilers I'll let you get back to the show you were supposed to wait and watch with me I love you both this is what happens when you go on work trips mom Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. <laughs> I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. turns up just as we arrive in town feels like the killer's leaving us a message i'm glad you're on this case with me anderson it's right up your alley you should take lead think of me as the backup okay any words of advice nothing that would cheer anyone up Time to get to work. Oh, do we get to play as the FBI? I have avoided all trailers and stuff for this, so. And yeah, it looks amazing. To be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. We get to play as the FBI. Eaten by a bear. Yeah, considering the first Alan Wake game was what a. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 game. It's a massive improvement. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Map. You're the one who wanted to... So there's Cauldron Lake. The lake with the, the weird, horrible thingy monster in it Boop. Hey there. Boop. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Do you have played control so I kind of I half know how stuff is supposed to work now. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading. And yeah, it's a very pretty Since game. You already know my partner, Alex Casey. The company went all out Sorry on visuals. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that you know that. Uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner <laughs> Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? Really? Are they with you? Oh, Look at the trees. Hold <laughs> <laughs> away.
Hello, Wayne. You doing? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I checked the stream elements Discord as well. Apparently, the 7 TV stuff not working is a known issue. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry, Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? This guy's just constantly listening in over the radio. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. Let's take a look. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence down the hill towards the lake around the old convenience store you can't miss it everything's been closed since the area was fenced off the store the campground all of it before we get to the crime scene there's time to review the facts of the case so far Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Case board. We do like actual Palace. investigations now. My version of the Mind Palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mind Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. <laughs> cool. The facts are on the board. They did this in control. There was a dude in control who used this. So he'd visualize like he was a researcher and he'd visualize his own office full of stuff to like remember things or to help him remember stuff. I know you can't go outside. <laughs> we turn the radio on or anything? Plenty of booze. So far we've got the map. We've got these bits here. Everything we know about the previous murders. Previous murders? Taking another look. Victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Free to navigate. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Find the connections will help or search for the killer. Missing in 2010. Ted Lane, the dentist. Stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Wendy Davis, teacher. Large chest wound. Percy Wolf store on the heart removed and weird tattoos. I do like that they're still using live action stuff for it as well. It's like using photos of actual people, using actual actors in cutscenes and stuff. Slight difference in murders, bloating only commonality in bodies because but not because of cause of death, Tresh Roll exposed to water, but yes, yeah, so they'll they'll all have been dumped in the wake lake. Bruising on wrists and legs means they've probably been tied up. Cash in the test. All of them experience bloating. Post mortem tattooing of the body. No common discernible traits. Resembles animal butchery. It's going to be one of the crazy hunters, isn't it? You're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Knife. No, Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. He looks like Max Payne. Like one of Remedy's first games was Max Payne. And he looks like that FBI, FBI agent. 
He's got like the same expression on his face. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they die. They always die. Just one week away from retirement. On my last case, etc., etc. Mirror Peak. In the mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. That's the place we had to climb up to the top of in the first game. See, look, his face, he looks like Max Payne. They've done that on purpose. Do I still have the emote? See? You won't be able to see it on the stream chat thing because Stream Elements is playing up, but... It's the same the person. Place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Picnic. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. Oh, the local law had the sense to put up a tarp. If they did, next coffee's on me. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind this door. Come on, I'll show you. Did so, they put up a tarp? FBI, huh? That's so My bet is no. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Those real? You guys Let's just see this body, shall we? Hi, Greg. Hello and wake up. I was just saying, Greg, the other FBI agent looks like Max Payne. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Also, I'm sorry, Greg, but. No tarp. He was a beautiful no bald man. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? It does, he's got his heart ripped out and everything. Step one, examine the corpse. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind palace. So I can see actively the key which can be selected with <gasps> I could put it on myself. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Ta da. Objectives are viewable on the case board under your goals. Now free to examine the base card and press to leave. Right, I'll examine. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Boo. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. But this dude isn't, like, bloated or anything. Because he's not been dumped in the lake yet. Uh, so I have to position it properly. Yes, it is. 
strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time, the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. If you answer the investigation, new questions will be unlocked. Updating your goals. Check your goals by pressing triangle. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. The victim, the killer. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. See the copper gun. Do you know anything about him? Can I ask you? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. 13 years ago, when the first game was out. Nightingale. It's Detective Robert. Pikachu when we need him. Oh, yes. You probably know him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Speaking to people as well as examining your surroundings. What about you, other FBI man? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Ah, so he got kicked off the so FBI. what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably All sorts of crazy shit. Town wants to forget. Right. I'll be back in a second because food is ready. So you can enjoy my fancy BRB screen. A quick, cheap and convenient way to get around. Fresh air, a little exercise, a fun pastime. But for the professional athlete on the road to glory, it's all about persistence and winning. So ride on, brave contender. Ride on to Night Springs. Tonight's episode, Eternal Endurance. I was going to compete in the race across America, one of the toughest ultra marathon bicycle races in the world. But first there was a qualifying race. The weather was miserable. My support team was somewhere behind me in a warm, comfortable van. I didn't really feel the cold anymore. Hey, sport. How you feeling? I'm okay. Just wet. How's the forecast? This fog gonna clear up anytime soon? Maybe in the afternoon. Hey, listen. We think you really need a break. Maybe eat something. No, no, no. I'm good. I can keep going. I'm good. It's just that you still have a thousand miles to go. We're getting kind of concerned. I'm fine. I was in agony. They were 2,000 miles behind me, and I felt every one of them in my legs, my arms, my ass. Time lost all meaning. There was only the road and the rhythm. My legs pumped away, my lungs burned, my heart hammered in my chest. I pushed through it, found the zone. Suddenly, the fog parted, almost as if it had never been there. Soft sunshine warmed my face. The fog had hit in a small town. I was riding down its main street. It was lined with people. They smiled and waved at me. I slowed down a little bit to see them better. Welcome. Everyone was so happy that I was here. I wanted to stop, rest a little while with these people who loved me. But I had to finish the race. I was about to speed up again when I saw it up ahead. The finish line. Relief flooded over me. Suddenly, all the pain was gone. I stopped pedaling. As the bike came to a stop just past the finish line, the people closed around me, clapped my back, gave me hugs. 
congratulating me. I got off the bike happier than I'd ever been. I was done. I was home. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. He's dead, isn't he? Look at him. I told you we should have made him stop. I told you. Oh, no, he's oh, dead. Oh, my God. Poor guy. And so the contender took the final opportunity to stop and rest. He won his final race in Night Springs. So yeah, the first game has all the episodes of that TV show just to watch by itself. So I've mixed them into the BRB screen. And I've got Ketsy. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? I have KFC Greg. Om nom 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 nom. Illegal Norway chicken. <clears throat> right, so we need to add more stuff to the case board. Multiple sets of four plinths means multiple killers. That's to do with the victim. Victim is Robert Nightingale. Thanks, Saga. I was seen in Bright Falls 13 years ago. Sure. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Doesn't make sense. You go. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Almost like some sort of cult. Did they plan for the murder to happen here. And beer. And Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. They have a camera. A camera. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. DNA samples. Everything, for now at least. DNA samples. Not sure. Need to think about it. That's like. Premeditated always. They've been sat there waiting and they had a camera set up. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. We can use profiling inside Saga's mind place. Get inside the heads of suspects. New calls, like profiling people of interest. Missing Agent person. Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Ooh, I wonder. So, in control, you'll learn about these things called astral entities. 
basically like there's a parallel dimension, there's stuff that lives there, it's all powerful, and it's where weird ghosts and things end up from. I wonder if she's connected to one and that's what her uh, intuition and stuff is. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. Because in control, the woman that you play as has special, abil special abilities because of her connection to astral stuff. The Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Yeah, you better. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. <coughs> Safety. Like the end of Control, the DLC does Wait, link into right. Alan Wake too. To what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses and bookers. The job is unfinished. See, that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm -hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. Have a look at the creepy little cabin thing. Yeah, Control was great fun. So yeah, if you've played Control, Greg, you know the whole... Astral Entity thing? How there's one in the different, um, like the different reality. And you've got the Hiss and the, the Board of Directors. There's another one of those things and it's at the bottom of this lake that we're going down to. And it's where the shadow monsters and stuff come from. Because it makes them. And it likes to make copies of things. I didn't know trees got that big. Redwood. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. Yeah, the janitor was great. It is kind of creepy though. Like the way he shows up at the beginning and he's like, Oh, you're here for the There's interview. A paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. Makes no sense. <gasps> I bought. Thank you for the sob. Oh, Feedlaker, what is it with your questionable choice of usernames and creepy greetings? <laughs> I must say, your resub streak is quite impressive, but maybe it's time to reconsider your approach to social interactions. Shadow Richard does not approve. I think I picked the right voice for him. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Ooh, is this one of Alan Wake's manuscripts? Page of a story. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. A 
And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? <laughs> He's good at stuff like that, Greg. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right <coughs> up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Manuscript pages. Page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside the awful truth. <laughs> Something Thank you, Bart. inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent <gasps> Robert Get Alan to read it. gone missing here 13 years ago. That way it suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page. The first page that they had found. Not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words. These words. Felt like a message was a message someone knew they were here what they were doing someone playing a game with them leading them on an invitation how could they not accept the sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them even if they knew it would end up hurting them Footprints into the rock. Come on, let me place it down. There. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. They had more of this to hear? No? Maybe not. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, Mom. Right. No, it still says I can play stuff. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. Well, we'll skip this. End up here? Ah, it goes down in the end, that's why. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting Ooh. their desires? All the colors changed. Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Hey, Don't let it drag it you in. Good. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. 
Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. Oh, no, Deerfest. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thank you. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses. <gasps> the Do I get to drive? At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. I got to do driving in the last game. Do I get to do driving in this one? Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Is that a radio tower? Looks like it. FBC, Federal Bureau of Control. There you go, Greg. First reference to them already. They've been in this area. So well, that will be one of their like tracking stations or something. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera to record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? Uh, the stuff. Whoa. Oops, I broke his animation. Shortcut. <laughs> and we're back to the cars. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Do I get to drive? Or is it going to be cutscene driving? Cutscene. That manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Nice costumes. No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Who are these nuts? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. For those of you just tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio. It's the radio guy again. Same question I am. Did 
they bring all this darn rain with them? Cheer festival. Yeah, we did. Law. Were these nerds in costumes? Don't know, don't care. Coffee, coffee, coffee. How much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Can I have a free coffee? Please. Bittersweet nectar. Get it in coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Yeah, he's definitely had a few too many. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my, <laughs> I mean our float, will be the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float to share. Oh dear. This is my first Deer Fest, Cute. so I don't know what to expect, but it's it is the finest entertainment. To the diner. Let me guess. The FBI, welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. It's the dude from Quantum Break. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I've gotten the name of the actor now. Except for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Right, the crazy rockers in here. Now, they were at this booth before, but can I put their music on? <clears throat> Out of order. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Any weird shit. Skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. He ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were cheering into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What were you doing at Colgin Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. So do I, Greg. Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Looks like a nice place. Oh, and then we found a... The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. You found something. What did you find? Tell me. Good to see you. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. 
My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The place was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. They've just stumbled into it. Unlucky. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Uh, I told you not to keep that thing with me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. It's Rose. She was in the first game. never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter? Hmm. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. Mm. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. See, she got taken over by the monster thing in the first one. So she could just be messing with us. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Mm -hmm. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Do not like. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder. Have you heard of this cult back. of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. It is good, Bart. Not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something. This one is more of like a D and D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, like Sheriff. investigation, like a crime-based one so far. Morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guest. But I've already seen a couple of references to control and stuff it's cool hey, what do you and I've already been jump scared a couple of times <laughs> Rose? yeah she's a bit of a space case she always has been why? what she do now? she kept saying that my daughter drowned she even knew my name it was all very weird Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible but best not to take it personally and yeah, the lady at the diner is messing with us. But she was one of the people who got taken over by the monster in the first game, so I reckon it could be that. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Let us 
snow. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. This place looks the same. You, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. See you around. So this way is the offices. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door, the shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. I saw your fault freaking out, Mr. FBI man. Also, Bar, uh, the other FBI agent quite obviously looks like Max Payne. He's joking. I'll try and get a decent shot of his face, but he's definitely based on Max Payne. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal inspection. There he is. And then here is our dead naked man. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? <laughs> Manner, you saw nothing. Well, cause of death would be There's giant missing there. heart. Can't make it out. Writing. How did they manage that? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. Okay, uh -huh. that's weird. They did leave something inside his chest. This looks like text. A tattoo? Cause of death. Boldness. Boldness and tattoos. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Right. Let's put stuff on the case board. Yeah, this one bar has a hole. Time to see build up a case thing for it. Us. Anything to learn from the body. Yeah, he's got... He put up a fight. Oh. oh, yeah, I have to put him on this thing, don't I? Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. Mm. And then he's got creepy tattoos on the inside and the outside. Right. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Time to open him up. He had that sex, drugs, and rock and roll lifetime lifestyle, Greg. That's what it was. <gasps> Is it another manuscript page? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. There is Alan. created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. Oh. 
So the clicker was a thing in the first game. It was basically like a a magic light switch that protected Alan Wake. He's coming. No weapon. You need light. Page said to get into the light. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Can I torch him? Safe havens will restore some of your health if you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat. It will become temporarily unavailable. It's my gun. Gun, 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 where are you? Looks like a dead deputy. Get down. Possible bar. <laughs> After playing control, I learned like all sorts of shit is possible. But yeah, that that flashing effect is creepy, and has made me jump three times so far. <laughs> Oh, it's the musical bit. So this will be like the end of the episode. In the first game, the lyrics were a clue to the next bit. It's hiding, Manu. You scared it. gone again but he still got up the page predicted all of it it helped me fight him he just disappeared what the hell is going on here we need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it somehow we need to make sense of this oh yeah in case you missed it earlier greg there was like a radio tower thing that had the federal bureau of control logo on it didn't say who's. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. That person's dead. 
There is no <sighs> rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Is this the page that he was looking at? Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Ooh. Wait, it's distorting. Why were you distorting then? Anything else in here? The victim of a ritualistic murder. Ghosts. Is there a connection? It looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. You go, Manu, I added it for you. Don't know about you, Manu, but I won't be able to. <laughs> right, so he wandered into here, which is where all the dead bodies are actually kept. Health pack. We get an attaché case. Ah. Uh, well, you won't see anyway because it's not working. So. I get like an actual, well there, your maps, oh dear, I am a tourist and it appears that I'm lost in the wood, it only had a tour guide also, there's the <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala Botic's best coffee roaster slash tour guide. Richard's go wild. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yarko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. We have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take this is amazing. Anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic River Peak. Clap around. Tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermal. <laughs> That's brilliant. Can't be opened on this side. It's mellow carrying a coffee mug or coffee thermos. 
Wait a second, can I, can I examine the body? I forgot. No, it's just fucked up. You're dead as fuck. I can't get through this. Me? Then how the fuck do I get out? Do you have a key? These keys can be useful. No. Yeah, it's just a, a short. <laughs> no worries, Manu. How do I get it right? Let's go to the case board. We got multiple attackers wearing DMS chanting, tearing into the guy with knives. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. And we've got a photo of them. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. So now we have two. Hi, Manu. Cult I of the Tree. I need to more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. So we have... What kind of cult is it? Ritualistic? No. Who is involved? Cult goals. Ah, it's becoming more complicated. That's not right. Create monsters. It's involved. Doesn't make sense. So they've got their own symbols, including the mask. Where does this go then? So he was the only one to go. Right, so we zoom out a bit. We've got the cult. The victim became a monster. Are they doing it to create. Their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. Mm. Right. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga, 
Instinct seer under the light pushed past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't a Taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the Dark Place, merged with ours. This place and the Dark Place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap, Finding a way in would be difficult, required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. So we've sorted those bits out. Can we now escape? At all. Nothing in the bag. I can't get through this. Can't open that door. You, Mr. FBI man, you useless. Do something. Got any keys? No. can't be opened on this side. The fuck, how do I get out? Once again, I am trapped in a game because I don't know where to go. Open the door. Accurate drawing of heart. Won't let me turn the lights on or anything. Elevator is... That's dodge. It won't open. Ah. So I need to figure out where Nightingale went.
Boop. We do anything else on profiling? No. <laughs> he timed it well. Rogues. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. Little shite. It doesn't budge. Right, I honestly have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Says figure out where Nightingale went. So he was in here. Quite obviously went this way. Where he disappeared. Or he went to the lake. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there too. It's just Cauldron Lake I have to go to, obviously. Just let me go there. Killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. Cabin would be nice. You involved, forcing you into their twisted world. Ah, we have more for this one. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. <laughs> Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. <laughs> this is the bit I was missing. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? No, we've done this bit. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. Yeah, so we'd send that a bit. So that case is closed. <clears throat> mm. 
Wow, Greg the Boomer, you really know how to ask the tough questions. I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't predict if Alan will wake up. But hey, let's hope for the best and maybe he'll rise and shine someday. <laughs> he does sound like the shadow monsters from the game though, doesn't he? See? The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Oh, taken. Greg the Boomer, you're really trying to push my limited talents, aren't you? Fine, here's a short one just for you. Musical notes, Greg the Boomer. Oh, what a name. Always asking questions, driving me insane. But hey, here's your song. Hope you're entertained. Now let's move along to something less mundane. Musical notes. <laughs> Stop him. Oh, look, Greg. Gets hurt. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. What, like that Nighting dead body right at your feet that you seem to have not noticed? You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. But we'll do what we can. Yeah, I only changed a couple of things and he ended up like 400% more sassy. Hi, Lenori. Crazy talk. Monsters aren't real. And what do you mean, the, the sheriff? Here, like poof, he's gone like magic. Yeah, he I literally teleported out. How are you doing, Lenori? I don't have a key for this door. But what's in here? Evidence lock up. And more supplies for me to take. <sighs> yeah, the, the, the last couple of let levels of the first one can be quite rough. Like, you know, the, the kind of, like, dog-style ones on all fours with the big claws. And there's always, like, one fire one and I think one lightning one. Those things wrecked me all the time. I know your pain. More people. So, uh, we got attacked by a dead body. Uh, we found pages. Oh, we found a naked bald man who had his heart ripped out. And then the naked bald man got up and attacked us. And it turned out there's like a creepy cult with um, wearing deer masks who are doing it. And 
Oh yeah, the like the sheriff literally like teleported in front of us. Yeah, you got to see his like you got to see everything, Lenora. You missed it. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Um. Flashlight. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need back. Yeah, I'm afraid you did, Lenori. You might see no more though. He is like running after us and stuff. Think we're find Nightingale the lake. The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Right, so map. I'm going to say hello to people at the diner again. That's the symbol. Good afternoon. I need something to cut this. Give me them bolt cutters. It's a symbol of the cults on the back of that door. Back of this building. I will try, Lenori. I shot him in the face the first time because he was a bit scary. So yeah, that's the cult symbol. Climb up the bins. Nah, I need bolt cutters or something to get through that gate. That's definitely the symbol of the cult on the back of... Is this the diner, or is it like this boarded up building? But I won't let me in. Hello. Hello. How about that weather forecast for Deerfest? I've been working on this float for a month straight. If it rains, I am gonna lose it. It'll ruin all the paper mache. Poor guy's miserable because his float's going to get ruined. Where was the diner? Have we gone past it? I've gone past it. Back this way. But yeah, this this game, Lenore, is a lot more like a, like a crime investigation. You get a, like an evidence board and everything to look at. Here's the diner. You're a creepy woman. We're going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? <gasps> These guys again. No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Like an asshole. Oh dear, I know what you are gonna eat. I'm a beer to the rescue. Bring out your inner wolverine. I'm a beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, I'm a beer. I'm a beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. It doesn't sound Finnish to me. While actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pippeli from wandering eyes. Partaking <laughs> in the Finnish tradition of kalsarikennit, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's all sad if it's intentional. Alma beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. Oh, it's time for a Finnish drinking adventure, I think. Definitely. Berkeley. Hi. 
Said you had somebody you could talk to here. Hey, how's it going? <gasps> it's the bear. Is it you? No. Is there anybody in the back? Deer. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Some uh, early nineties word art there. Everybody loves it. Teamwork here. So can't open this with my bare hands. Toilets. Out of order. Wanna be alone? Leave me alone. It won't open. Hmm. Apparently, I can't talk to anybody here. Take it easy. Even though I thought I could. Oh no. Crazy rockers aren't here anymore. <gasps> Nobody's watching. Everybody's watching, Greg. You left your webcam on again. Take care. You will get that uh strongly worded email from twitch very shortly did you check out the town anderson just getting my bearings ready to go waiting on you let's go <sighs> rinse and repeat clock out get a beer or maybe three I back to the creepy lake clean, anderson i know why nightingale was here 13 years ago he was chasing a writer <gasps> oh it's the dude who shows up to attack you. She's writing a book on his disappearance. I remember now. Detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. Sorry. Uh huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks. All in a week. All in sleep. That was it. Then. Ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. <laughs> In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. There's a symbol of the cult again. I wanted you to have all the facts. In the trees. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. <gasps> What's your first kit kind, Lenore? Is it sex and murder cults? It's just a guess. The 
the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. Sexy murder cults. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen because they're behind the Sun's us. going down. Can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. Keep the murder but make it hot. Confused him again. More about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? The cool kind. Experience. <laughs> We're not seeing the full picture yet. Are you FBC officers? Hey, hello there. Come Look here. at the bulge. Isn't it lovely? Oh, wow. Yeah, you sh shake those hips, buddy. Hi, Dave. It's good. Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in it's town the dude from the advert. Government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. I Federal Bureau of Control. Murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of... Uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna ya vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. It's a lie. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous weather. It's 1000% a lie. Looks Nordic. Also, he's holding a shower head. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. Uh, not yet, Dave. I don't know anything about Max Payne you. isn't directly related Operation to this, unfortunately. But the other detective does is quite obviously based on Max Payne. I'll show you him in a second. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. So yeah, this is basically they confirmed just before the game actually came out. Um, oh, is it actually the same guy? There he is. So yeah, they, they confirmed just before this game came out, like officially that um, Control and Alan Wake and Alan Wake 2 are all the same universe and Quantum Break and Max Payne are fictional stories within this universe. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiira. Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Okay, we're done for now. So yeah, this guy is quite obviously holding... It looks like a shower head. I'd be happy to get you VIP tickets at the Coffee World. And then... Just say the word. Thanks. This is the FBC station. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter. It's not one of ours. I've fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. 
leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix things. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lynch, Chief Technician. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. But yeah, when we, when we were in this earlier, I wandered up to that and was like, oh, is this like a radio station or something? And then saw the FBC logo on the outside of it. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Oh yeah, Dave. Uh, Breaker as well, who's the um, sheriff for the town is the guy from quantum break i can't remember the actor's name but it's the same guy our crime scene's drowning i never mind it rain feels like home no quantum flop but the page did place him at cauldron lake in an overlap symbols on the table maybe Something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. Yeah, I, I liked Quantum Break as the game. I didn't like the thirty minute TV show TV show between each level. Bare it, feet. It was a nice concept, but it was way too long. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. <laughs> if anything comes up, I'll radio you. Yeah, she's monsters. She's not amazing. Rituals. What do you make yeah. of all of this? Also, Iceman from the X Men films, Dave. Performing the ritual, not the detective. Same guy. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. So yeah, you know how this one's had like the dumb advert and stuff in it, Lenore. What this ritual is. Quantum Break, you played a level, and then there was like a 30 minute episode of a TV show in between the next ones. I'm mowed. After we find How you doing? What then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be I'm good. the way to stop him from hurting anyone. The game else. has scared me a couple of times already. It is sufficiently it so far it's had a good like a good mix of like creepy build up and jump scares and it is a gorgeous looking game but look at this hot forest at sunset and now i need to find my way down to the lake while it's getting dark i'm going to follow his footprints It's alright, it'll happen again any second. Don't like it. Oh yeah, we're following a naked bald guy by the way. Be here any second. So you're step up to the little hut. I should get the gun out actually. Seeing as we know for a fact this dude is a monster. The lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Oh I'll get your gun out. <coughs> ah I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. Scared 
give me them bullets. Oh, it looks like the lake has breached. And the lake is where all the creepy stuff was in the first one. And now it's starting to get foggy. Which is little. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of which whose cauldron the lake really was. Ah, cool. Thanks, Dave. That explains all the references to finish things that are in it. The legends tell when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned but dropped. Her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before she was, well, now. She killed the sheriff, drowned him in the lake, she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. So the legend. Oh, no. So she's got the weird one. Manu! Got that. <laughs> what is that? You got me. Seems like it's reacting to the light. So yeah, I, I think from what happened in the first game, the first game is all about the entity in the lake that like basically takes over people and gives them powers and stuff so I reckon she drowned in the lake made a pact with the entity thing like the guy's wife in the first game damn it man Oop. these aren't the same tracks that were here before they're headed into the tree not out of it this is where he's gone Light burn the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. Thank you, Bar. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. The witch's hut was that the thing that we the place we went to before? <laughs> Bye, Bart. Night, night. So I think the witch's hut was the bit that was back up this way, wasn't it? <laughs> Bye, Maud. <laughs> Rip. So if I go back this way. That was movement. Is that a quick turn that I did then? Uh controls. This is the witch's hut. Night, night. Anderson. Bye again, oh, Mom. I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm going to check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. <laughs> yeah, you did it, Mark. <laughs> Oh, 
It's all right, that one didn't get me, it's fine. I noticed it just before. This is the witch's hut. Need a fuse. Night, night. Where am I going to find a fuse? The witch's hut. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Wake, but where her spirit may still haunt this place. <laughs> Poor Maud. Fuse, please. This fuse is busted. Bah. <clears throat> Which is hot in the swamp, sounds like a great idea. So look. Meech told me there are families moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and to get her a better school. In a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to see in bright fucking falls? So I told her, she said, thanks, fucking kill me. Snuck out last night again, went to the big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here like I always do. And sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going down on down there. Going to find out what. Going back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. More bullets. Or a fuse. This one looks good. Fuse. Really stop littering, though. More bullets. Is that a kid's lunchbox? Enjoy your lurk mode. It is a kid's lunchbox. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. Yeah. No, I think you can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember Alan is watching over us. Aw. Thank you, Alan. Ooh, manuscript fragments we used to upgrade weapons. Where the power of words comes in. Auto fire. Mag size. Headshots. Right, so that's the adventure tours. That's the song. We could do more profiling. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. It was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. Mm. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is Leo. So we need to head back to the hut. Alan is friendly. He's like a famous author and everything. It's like Stephen King with magic powers. Fuse. And then there was light. Break room is a place where you can save your process. 
making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. A smudged line on the heart. A second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Hmm. Time for manual save. Well, I'll tell you what. Seeing as this is a good spot, saving point, I shall finish here for today. We made it to the witch's hut. Sadly, there is no Lonori in here, but. We will continue next time. So I will continue Sunday next week. But yeah, I am enjoying this game. It's good. Next week, the mother-in-law hot. Nah, Manu's mom never had anywhere as cool as this. But yeah, thank you for dropping by, everybody. Thank you, Bart, for the resub. <laughs> See who's online to raid. Who's a boot? Um. I know we'll go for more spooky stuff. We'll go and say hello to Taffy. It's Taffy. He's playing Left 4 Dead. If I go play Fortnite, will you raid me? What, if you're going to stream Fortnite in no mode? Is that what you mean? I might do. <laughs> right. We're going to say hello to Taffy. Taffy is playing uh, Left for Dead. A couple of other people so we can make fun of him. So I shall see you all soon. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye, bye, -bye. No, man, no, you're not allowed. Whatever you mode, not allowed.